briefcase, briefs, and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. In a 2003 case, Evans v. Famous Music Corp., the New York Supreme Court Appellate Division, addressed the importance of interpreting contracts based on their clearly expressed language and avoiding alterations that contradict the text. The case involved six composers, songwriters, and musicians, or their heirs who signed contracts with Famous Music Corporation, ensuring them a 50% share of the company's net earnings from their compositions, after expenses, charges, and taxes. Famous Music Corp. Licensed the artist's work worldwide through sub-publishers, who collected royalties, deducted fees and taxes, and sent the remaining balance to the company. However, the plaintiffs claimed that Famous breached the contract by not reimbursing them for their proportional share of the foreign tax credits the company received on its U.S. income tax. They filed a lawsuit for breach of contract, unjust enrichment, and money had and received, while the defendant filed a motion for summary judgment. Initially, the lower court denied Famous' motion and granted partial summary judgment for the plaintiffs, stating that the contracts required the company to share any foreign tax credit received. However, on appeal, this decision was reversed as the appellate court disagreed with the lower court's interpretation of the contracts. They ruled that the foreign tax credit benefit was not contemplated by the parties, nor explicitly mentioned in the contracts, indicating it was not intended to be a term in their agreements. Thus, the defendant's motion for summary judgment was granted, and the plaintiff's breach of contract claim was dismissed, as they failed to provide sufficient evidence to support their claim. Case briefs and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. Visit lse.law, elevate your mind. Leave the stress of class.